What is the situation in this part of town? For a time, the West End seems spared by the epidemic. But the situation is getting much worse. Have you no relatives anywhere? I'll understand if you want to take a few days to see family. Your father managed to guarantee my earnings as long as I take care of this house, sir. My sisters are dead, and I've never met my nephews. I'll stay, sir. I'm sorry I could not be here for Mary's funeral. Your mother was strong, sir, but your support would have been appreciated. Apart from the priest and I, no one else attended your sister's funeral. To be present at the funeral with you both was my dearest wish, Avery. But I'm sorry, I simply could not attend. I would not dare to question your absence, Mr. Jonathan. All I can say is that we missed you a great deal during these difficult days. How was life in this house while I was away? It was sad, sir. Miss Mary moved here in July after she lost her baby and husband. So I stay to serve both her and your mother. How was my mother? Miss Reed was very frail. After Miss Mary was found dead, your mother started talking to herself. She said she was speaking to the dead. She even said that she had seen you. How was Mary? Miss Mary went out looking for you every night after you had written to say that you were coming back. She was sure you were alive. She'll never know she was right. How was life in this house while I was away? It was sad, sir. Miss Mary moved here in July after she lost her baby and husband. So I stayed to serve both her and your mother. What are the arrangements for my mother's funeral? There will be no funeral, sir. No ceremony whatsoever, because of the sanitary situation. Where is her body, then? I'm afraid your mother's body was moved to a mass grave somewhere. I have no other information. Civil service is paralyzed, sir. And London is crumbling down. Tell me the truth, Avery. Do you feel forced to stay here? Would you leave this house without the arrangement made by my father? No, sir. I have nowhere else to go. And I promised your father I'd take care of his family as long as I live. This house is dead, Avery. There is a curse on this family. You really should consider leaving. If only you could have been here sooner or more often. Maybe this house would not be that empty. But you're here now, sir. So my task is not over. You have served this family extremely well, Avery. Your support during these terrible times is much appreciated. Then I will stay. All I ask is that you take care of my own funeral if I die before the end of the epidemic. No mass grave, please, sir. Do you really think I neglected my mother, Avery? Yes. I see. Well, please go on, speak freely. It's not as if there is anything left to treasure in this house. Just like your father. You always had this capacity to focus only on what interests you. It surely helped you become a great doctor, but not such a great son. I'm currently investigating sources of the epidemic in this part of town. Do you know anything useful? Not really, except all the McPherson's servants resigned a few days ago. They feared becoming infected, they said. The McPhersons? Where do they live? I think it's a rich house near the railway bridge in the southern part of the district. Do you need medical attention, Avery? 
I won't refuse, sir. I don't feel that good these days. Here is your prescription. You'll feel better soon enough. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Avery. We'll talk later. Your bedroom is ready as always. Good night, sir. Oh, sir. What a terrible tragedy. I remember Sunday walks in the park. 